Hey, welcome to this week's Adventures with Peps. We are painting a cow habit mongoose game out of print judge model. Look at it. He's glorious. He's got a claymore. He's got a kilt. He's got a little blaster. This is going to be fun. So we're kicking things off with Crusader skin. You can assume where this is going. It's not hard to guess. This model came in the Judges of the World kit, which sadly is very hard to find now. But inside there was the Cowhab Judge, there was the Hondo City Judges, there was, I'm trying to remember now, the Vacan City one, there was the, uh, the one from South America that I can't remember. There was basically eight models in the kit. Old Texas Judge was one of them. It was a great kit, came with some great models. I really hope one day Warlord Games will choose to update these figures and actually produce some of their own but thanks to my wonderful community who know I really hate painting kilts they recently chose to have me paint up this model so we're going to do our best as always this is to produce a model that looks good three foot away this is in no way high quality as you will see and uh, we're kicking things off with the kilt it's a big area going to use the blood red speed paint. Ultimately the first half of this video is me trying to get the colors on, see what I'm working with and then the second half of the video is going to be me panicking on how to do the plaid kilt color. I tried to do it on a slain model recently and it was so hard and <laughs> this model it looks a lot harder there's going to be yellow stripes and black stripes going on top of this red. So that's pretty intense. For his blue, we're using the High Lord blue. I felt it was the closest the bright blue I had to what I assume is the Scottish blue. The uniform is very interesting on these models because they are technically part of Britzit. So they have the lion motif on their shoulder. But they're from Scotland, so they're blue and white. They have the cross. It's a very striking looking outfit. The judge's helm is a lot more Celtic looking. It looks like it's made from a beaten iron slash steel. He's armed with a claymore. He also has the, I'm going to pronounce this horribly wrong, so I'm sorry everyone, but a, a skin de blaster. I have no, I, I've not read actually a comic with the uh, with the Cowhab judges in. So I'm not entirely sure if the blaster is similar to the Britsit pistols or if it's slightly closer to a Mega City Lawgiver. I really have no idea. I can't find any rules on it. It probably was in a Mongoose game somewhere. I'll have to dig deeper. But hopefully... As you're watching this, in the community tab, there should be rules for this judge going live as well. There are rules to use it in the Games Workshop RPG setting. So if you want to take a look at that and drop me a comment, please do. And this is probably a good time to say like, subscribe and all that crap. Every little bit helps. I'm slowly creeping up to the 1000 followers. And these Warlord Games slash Judge Dread slash 2000 AD slash Mongoose seem to be really popular with you guys so I'm happy to actually have found something that I enjoy doing and you do too. We now move on to the dark metal colours and we're using the Grave Lord. I'm using this on his helmet, the pistol and the Claymore uh, handguard. Probably has a fancier name than handguard but that's what we're going with. It was at this point when I'm actually really focused on the face, that I realised he has facial hair. It's actually a big bushy beard at the front of this model that I've covered in skin tone. We're going to fix that because he's also got his ponytail. But yeah, it's one of those things that you don't really notice because you're going to autopilot. I just assumed he'd have a bare face so I slapped on flesh colour. But how are you guys liking these videos? They're pretty quick. I'm not going into a huge amount of detail because I'm not doing a huge amount of detail. 
but I hope they're inspiring you enough to slap paint on your models and get something that looks good from three foot away. Even at this stage, with what, four colours on the model, I'm starting to see how it's coming along. And I'm really excited for how this is going to look. But that kilt is terrifying me. The idea of doing straight lines is very scary. I have the shakes at the best of times, so trying to do straight lines is going to absolutely destroy me, I think. So, what is the cow hab? Let's get some info up here whilst we're painting away. It's the irradiated area of what was Scotland. It's officially called the Caledonian Habitation Zone, shortened to Cowhab. It's the remains of Scotland, which has remained under Britsic control. The largest settlement is Glasgow, while the Strathmeg Con Conurbation... Conurbation? Hang on, we're now on the hair. We're using Fire Giant Orange to make it nice and bright has fallen into decay. The Cowhab Zone is also home to the trash zine artist Kenny Who, who if you've ever read the comics, he goes crazy with an axe in Mega City 1 and Judge Dredd has to deal with him. I need to try and find this Cowhab magazine that is referenced in this article that I'm just looking at. It looks cool. It looks so cool. I'm assuming this model is based on the main character. It just looks insane. There's like a side judge who seems really aggressive. There's people called rangers that seem to be an assassin style character. I need to find this. Somebody help me find it. Um, we're now on runic grey, which I'm going to use for the other metallic colours which is mostly his blade and his judge's badge, which hangs off his kilt. There's so much stuff here to read. It's crazy. The Mongoose RPG, it would seem, went really into depth with the Cowhab Zone. So I need to maybe find that on eBay. It describes how it was split into six estates. Hang up, we're now moving on to Zealot to Yellow. We're going to use that on the shoulder pads like we do with the Mega City Judges. Seems to be so much rules in the RPG. Wow, I really have to find this. I bet it costs a fortune. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a secret secret PDF somewhere out there, which I'll have to look out for. Anyway, let's get back to the model. I'm getting distracted. I do apologise. So, as you can see, they have the lion motif that they borrow from the Brits at uniform. But to that, they've added their own spin on things with the helmet, the kilt, even the, the cross that looks very much like the Scottish flag. The bright blue uniform instead of the darker blues and leathers. He's really going to stand out on a tabletop. He's bright, he's colourful. I think his reasoning for being in Sector 102, which is my zone of Mega City, he's going to be on a cultural exchange program, working with the local judges. I'll see if we can get him into a scenario, try and make some rules to use him in Warlord games. Worst case scenario, he's just going to have street judge stats. It's probably the easiest way of getting him in the game. But there has to be a way to give him a claymore. Maybe swap out some rules on the weapons. As you can see, I skipped there. I wasn't sure if these straight lines were going to work. I was too nervous. I couldn't film it under the camera. So I had to just get the lines on and skip it instead. But we're using the yellow over the dried white. I wanted to see how bright it would come through. Turns out it wasn't as bright as I hoped. Don't know if you can see, it looks pretty blending into the red. That is definitely not what I want. Whilst I'm thinking on how to fix it, I move on to Holy White. This I'm going to be applying to his socks, his gloves, his uh, elbow pads. 
gotta remember when you're painting this on it really looks gray and you're kind of like what have i done it does dry brighter not a lot brighter but bright enough and it gives a very nice finish to the white gives it a slightly dirty look as you'll see i will do his back cross back section but i leave the front alone i want that to look bright it's given it a focal point especially with the little red dot in the middle it brings your eye into the chest area and distracts you from a lot of the flaws that are on the model. But how am I going to fix the kilt? At this stage, I'm really confused. I'm going to have to reach for the Citadel miniature paints, which I was hoping to avoid doing. But I need a bright yellow. And unfortunately, the only bright yellow I have is the Citadel miniature one. So I'm going to go shake that for half an hour because it had split as per usual. And as you can see, it's the flash get yellow. So I have a tiny amount on my brush, which is why you are now seeing a wonderful picture of my out of focus hand. I hope you enjoy. And using a very small amount on the tip of the brush, I slowly apply it over and over again. Building up the layers, trying my best to keep it thin. I ended up finding that if I loaded up my brush and then worked it into a point, it actually gave me neater, straighter lines. So if you're looking at my brush and thinking there's way too much paint on there, you are correct. There is way too much paint on there. But it worked for me, so I'm going to stand by my system. And there we go, it's starting to look brighter starting to look the way I wanted it. I then left it alone. And I'm now going to let it dry fully before I touch this model again. And for this next stage, we've got the black, the dreaded black. This is the speed paint black, which made this nice and easy to do. But I got his visors. And then this color is so dark that you don't really have to do much. I just gently tried to get some straight lines, trying to make sure it goes where I want it to. Luckily, the kilt doesn't really have a lot of uh, depth or movement to it. It's a pretty flat surface. They missed an opportunity here, I think, to give it some more pizzazz. Instead, it's very flat, which is fine. Works great with the speed paint. As you can see, my confidence starts to build. I'm able to just sweep some straight lines across. This isn't pretty. Yeah, in no way is this pretty. But it's such an improvement on when I was doing the slain kilt. I've definitely gained a bit more confidence. It's weird to think that it's been probably two or three months since I painted that model. And with me painting more regularly at least once a week now, I'm actually gaining confidence, especially with the speed paint. I now know what I can and can't get away with. Sometimes I mess up. You've all seen the fatty video now. But trial and error, name of the game, you learn as you go. And all I can say is if you're interested in trying anything out, just try it. Worst case scenario is you strip the model or you just prime it again. And there we go, the finished model. Street Judge, or Cow Judge, Cow Hab, we'll get there in the end. Cow Hab Judge, facing off against McNulty. Hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching.